Hello everyone, Jaime Haynes, Show for Scale from Kizla Supreme uh, from Russia. We have, let's get out of the way, um, big fixed blade, they call the Survivalist Z. It's first thing we can see is the Digicamo sheath, Molly compatible on the back, two Mollies on the top as well, uh, obviously large belt loop there. So if you just take the blade out, it does have a plastic liner. Um, but you can unscrew it to detach it for cleaning purposes or if you don't want to carry that and you just want to freehand carry the blade. So we move that to the side. First thing you'll be able to see is the size of the knife and get it all into shot. We're looking at 12 and a half inches overall with a seven and a half inches grey titanium finished Oz8 stainless blade. Partially serrated. It's got an integral finger guard as we can see. And you can use them as lashing points as well. It's, we've got nice smooth jimping on the back there, the other side of your lashing point. And as you'll be able to see, um, it is a hollow handled knife. Aluminium handle, and you've got a basic survival kit on the inside. So if you just unscrew there, there we go. You've got your little canister in there. Um, with there's no compass in the end, so don't expect that. It's not one of these replica Rambo knives. It's, 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 it's a proper bit of kit. Um, so basic survival kit in there. We've got cotton thread, scalpel, um, just basic survival bits. Um, but everyone panics, thinking how long is the tang? To give you an indication of it, when that's in there, there we go. So we line it up there. So it's not just literally quarter of an inch on the top. It does actually go in a good two, two and a bit inches. And let's just put that back in and we'll screw it back up. All right, there we go. And we can get some close ups on there now. So we can see we've got a nice groove on there for weight distribution and balance. We've also got um, a kind of chopping edge that can be used for. Um, it's not obviously as sharp as the front edge, but can be used for chopping tasks on there. Uh, top edge is a false top edge, uh, which could be sharpened up quite easily. And you can see we've got your partial serrations there. It, it's extremely well made, um, nice good solid weight to it. Um, what I didn't tell you was how thick the Oz8 was. So very quickly we're looking at five mils on the back spine. But with the knurling on that handle and, and, and the texturing on it, and you've got your little thumb ramp on the back, really gives you a lot of control or pop your thumb the other side um, for e even more balance and control on it. Um, it's a very good one for all style knife and if we pop him back into the sheath you'll see the overall look again double pop a snap then there we go so from Kaiser Supreme that's your survivalist Z